Hey folks, we're back in the garage for another little bit of a workshop on Dale the truck. Today we're going to try and get the passenger side door back on and finish up this side once and for all. We've just got some last minute welding to do, so let's get to it. So one of the last things that we've got to do before we can get this door put back on is we've got to finish welding up this seam. The reason why I put it off is because there is quite a gap in there from where I cut it and uh, we've got to find a way to fill that crack in. Fill my crack in. So uh, if you guys have been following any of the comments in any of these videos you'll know there's a fellow on there by the name of Maritime Mitch and go check him out. He's got a YouTube channel. I'll put his link right up here. And uh, he's got a couple of Grand Marquis and uh, some other vehicles there that he shows off on his channel. Very short videos, but nevertheless, he suggested that we take a coat hanger and cut it to fit, and that way we can use this to fill in that gap. I thought that was a great suggestion, so we're going to try it. Thanks, Mitch. Let's get to it and see how it works. So just like any metal when you're welding it, you got to make sure it's clean. So we took it over to the bench grinder with the wire brush and got all that coating off of it. Now we've got a cut to fit. We're going to stick it right in there like so. We'll tack weld it and then we can let go and finish off the job. So Mitch, let's see how well your solution works. Well, despite the fact that my welds are horrible, it seemed to all hold together. So we've got pretty good penetration there. We're going to grind that down, make sure that we did, and then we can go back and start filling these bigger holes that have developed. Let's do that. So our time has been cut a little bit short. I just ran out of MIG wire. So I've got to run to Canadian Tire, pick up some more MIG wire so we can finish up this job and uh, then we'll be able to grind it down, throw some uh, primer on it, and get ready to do some painting, uh, which I think I'll save until we're actually done both sides. So, off to the store to get some MIG wire. Son of a... Alright, so we've got most of these holes filled in, which is fine. We've still got some. There's one there, there, and of course, we got the big one here on the end. And the problem that I'm having is burn through. And I know that burn through, as a rule, is generally caused by too much voltage. So, I tried turning it down and it didn't help. I tried turning this wire speed down. That didn't help either. So I'm chalking it up to poor quality metal and uh, we're gonna have to probably put a patch of metal in that bottom piece on the corner just to make sure that uh, everything's gonna be holding up just fine. And as you can see, I had to tear a hole in the bottom of this fender where it was bad anyways to get rid of all the pine needles because they kept smoldering and uh, I just I'm uncomfortable with leaving things smolder uh, because well it's inside of a building and I don't want everything to burn but having said all that we are gonna test fit the door so I'm gonna grab Junior he's gonna help me lift this door on here and see if everything's fitting okay and what the gaps look like Okay, so we've got the door back in place and we've noticed a few areas that are going to need some tweaking. The gap in the door looks pretty good, but it is a little high here, so there is going to be some adjustment just in those bolts up front uh, to get that line back up again. Also, the door is out, so that's an adjustment on the striker a little bit too, where we can get that door kind of set in 
to the body a little bit more. Now when we come over here, we'll notice that the cab corner is recessed in a little bit further than the rest of the door gaps, but we can kind of manipulate the bottom of that door in uh, to fill that gap. And if we look right here, we'll see that the actual cab corner itself is penetrating into that gap a little bit more than it should. I don't want to say that's an easy fix, but it can be fixed. We can heat that up and uh, use the persuader and move that in some. So that might be something we have to do in the future. Now down below, one of the things I was worried about was our gap on our rocker panel, but it seems to be good the whole way along. Granted, it does tighten up a little bit down here compared to the rest of it. Most of it is because this door panel is actually out further. A little bit of tweaking on the adjustment on that door and we should be fine. So I must say that my first attempt at welding cab corners and rocker panels is about a C minus. The reason why I give myself such a low grade is simply because the welds are messy, I had to do a lot of grinding, and up underneath the cab corner, although everything is stuck, um, it just doesn't look professional. Granted, I'm not trying to tell you that I'm a professional, but um, I really do wish it looked a little bit better. The gas tank's going to hide that. People will say, well, yeah, but I'll know it's there. It's the same thing when people work on their own rigs and they say, oh, your car looks beautiful. And I'm like, yeah, well, it's got this, this, and this, because I have it. I know it. I see it. I probably put those scratches or this dent or this whatever in it. Um, and those are the things that bug me. So maybe what I'm going to do is I might get Tim or even my dad over here to uh, kind of go over these welds one more time and just see what they think. And uh, maybe if they need to be represented a little better, we'll help. Uh, we'll get them to help do that. So, so that is going to wrap up this episode of the Dale the Truck video. And I'm just going to work away at manipulating this door a little bit more, see if we can get that to fit pretty good, and then likely go ahead and put some primer on those bare spots on the metal. So don't forget tonight's live stream, the Car Guy and Six Fan Christmas special. Here is my friend Nick to tell you all about it. Hi, I'm Nick from Nick's Garage. I want to tell you guys that Jason is having a live show on uh, December 19th at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. He's going to have a show with uh, Car Guy and Six Fan. So you guys stay tuned and watch the show. And it's uh, presented by Old Car Auto Guy. Thanks a lot, Nick. I really appreciate you taking the time to help us promo this live stream. As we get ready for this, you guys are not going to want to miss out. We're going to have lots of fun. So stay tuned. We've got lots coming your way. More on the Dale truck. Stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you guys. God bless. We'll do it again in the next Dale the Truck video.